So it's been about two years since I first started working on the VR enhancements mod for Subnautica and I've finally decided to take the time to post an update with all the fixes that the mod currently has. So I'm guessing they're never going to be fixing the flat surfaces on the medium detail water since it was broken by an update over one year ago. Okay, so the first fix that you'll notice with the mod install is that you now have a visible mouse cursor if you're using mouse and keyboard to play. Even if you're using a controller, you can still use the mouse and keyboard for renaming beacons and rearranging tools in the toolbar. The mod will add three new options under general options that will only show up when running the game in VR mode. You will see enable VR animations, look down for HUD, and a slider for adjusting the walk speed. The first option to enable VR animations will re-enable all cinematics that are normally skipped in VR mode. You will also see the player animations for other actions like climbing ladders and entering and exiting vehicles and bases. The original loading screen was a picture of the aurora attached to your head and it was very uncomfortable to look at. So I replaced it with just the loading logo and progress information on a black screen. The following cinematic sequence that ends with the fire in the pod does not play in VR mode without the mod installed. If you get motion sickness in VR, you may want to close your eyes until it reaches the point to extinguish the fire. Since the camera and player moves without the player's input, this can cause motion sickness in VR. Without the mod installed, there's no fire in the pod and you immediately go to the PDA's boot up sequence. You will notice that the PDA is now further back, larger and tilted back for greater viewing comfort. You can also move your head independently from the PDA and you'll also notice that the subtitles are now placed higher up so that they are visible in VR. When you open the in-game menu, you will notice a new option called Recenter VR, which allows you to reset your VR position without having to blindly search for the F2 key on the keyboard to do it. The look down for HUD option is for disabling the HUD unless you're looking down to help with the issue of the HUD obstructing the PDA. When I look down, the HUD appears and the HUD disappears when I'm not looking down. If the PDA is open and you don't have this option enabled, the HUD can obstruct the PDA like this. Using the ladder without the mod installed would just teleport you to the top of the pod, skipping the ladder climbing animation and the short cinematic. This is what it looks like with the mod installed.
Without the mod, the cursor image on interfaces like the Cyclops and Map Room is not positioned where the actual cursor is. So placing the cursor over interface elements like the silent running button would not work and you'd actually have to put the cursor somewhere up here to align the actual cursor with the button. The mod fixes this alignment issue and the cursor now works as expected in all interfaces including the map room. Engine powering up. The next fix scales down the HUD for the Cyclops and drone cameras since the outer edges of the HUD was not clearly visible in VR. Normally in VR, the head position is way too far forward and low, so the mod pushes the head back and up to align properly with the player's body. You can now actually look down to see your chest which you couldn't previously do. The head position fix also makes the tools in your right hand more visible. The main benefit of the head position fix is that the sea glide is now much easier to pilot since it no longer blocks the majority of your field of view. If you've ever had a problem with identifying where sounds are coming from in VR, it's because the virtual ears of the character only turns when you turn with the mouse or the controller and not with just your head. Currently the mod is not installed, so pay attention to the sound effect coming from the vent on my right side. If I turn with just my head to look at the vent, you'll notice that the sound effect still comes from the right side. And even if I turn to the left, the sound still keeps coming from the right side. But if I turn with the controller, the sound position updates correctly. I have now installed the mod and you can hear that the mod fixes this sound position problem. So you can now tell where sounds are coming from, even if you're just turning by using your head and not turning with the mouse or controller. Okay, so I think I've covered all of the fixes that the mod currently has. You can find a link to the mod in the description below as well as links to some of my other mods for Subnautica.